Hey everybody, this is PJ Riley from Lancaster Archery out here at Target Nationals where we're about to begin the men's recurve round today. We're here with Brady Ellison and Brady, you've got something new on your bow there that is being launched. Tell us what it is and what it does for you. So it's a Bomar nose button. It's 60% softer than his original. Um, we've teamed up on this to build this. Uh, I knew we needed something smaller or uh, smaller but a little bit uh, softer yeah, yeah. for the recurves because we tend to have a little bit more pressure in our nose and um, it, I, I was kind of skeptical of this at first. Um, I actually put one on my bow in February and I, I took it off and then uh, we went back to the drawing table ended up coming out with this and I'm going to tell you for less than 20 bucks this is probably one of the things that will help you the most in shooting. I, I was honestly, I was humbled when I put this on my bow. I did not realize how inconsistent I was at anchoring and not necessarily anchoring in the, I anchored in the same spot, but my head position just tilting up and down was huge. You, even at your level, and you noticed And I did not this. realize that. Wow. And it, it's honestly, it took me 10, 14 days after putting this on to, to figure it out, to kind of rebuild my shot. But I've gotten rid of so many problems that I had that I didn't know what it was oh, gotcha. since then. Wow. And I'm, my scores, like I'm not shooting any higher scores than I ever have. Right. Because when I'm on, I'm on and I'm doing everything the same. But really over the last week i've been more consistent and my low scores have almost disappeared gotcha um it, it's it's kind of insane what this little thing has done for my shot um yeah. it it's made me so much more confident and so much more consistent and it's caused a few more problems just because i've shot the same way for so many years yeah and i've had to readjust a couple of small things on my shot just to be more consistent. Yeah. But this is showing me it's instant feedback. You know what it is. I have a lot less problem shifting left and right in the mornings to in the afternoons with the light now with string alignment. It, it's it's almost like putting a peep on the bow. So let's we should mention first of all that this is legal for oh. any of your Olympic recurve competitions. Yeah, one hundred percent. So you're allowed to tie one other piece onto your string. Uh, in addition to the knocking points, as long as it's not in your sight. And so this sits underneath the nose. You can't see it at all, you just yep. feel it. So it's 100% legal. It's no different than a kisser button. Um, it just, this really truly gives you the exact same anchor point. You know, you anchor here, you feel the string on your chin, and now you have an exact point on your nose. And I didn't realize, all right, I have contact on my nose, right? And so like it's in the same every time. It wasn't even close no to the same. And even though I'm touching my chin and everything here, the difference between lifting the head and being down a little bit, you can't feel with just the string. You put this on there yeah. and you can feel that small difference. So like an example is I didn't realize it. Essentially I was changing my peep height throughout the day. Yeah. And I would get a lot of low shots that felt good that I didn't really realize. And this has helped a lot of those get away. Now all the low shots I shoot, I feel the shot and I know it's going to be low before it even hits the target. Gotcha. So as you mentioned, besides making you more consistent, that confidence is a factor as yeah, well. Yeah, I mean, it, it's kind of crazy just how much better I feel about my shooting, even though you know, with COVID and the break and everything like that, and maybe not being back to 100% of where I want to be yet, I truly feel that I am shooting more consistent with this thing. And as we mentioned, it's a softer material because you've shot this on your compound bow as well. You're, when you're pulled back with your compound bow, there's let off, so you're holding a lot less. So this is softer on your nose as opposed to having hard plastic in there. Yeah, definitely. And one thing that I, I noticed with this, it's softer. You still feel the point. Yeah. Don't get me wrong. Like you still feel it. But one of the things that's helped me with pressure um, on the front end and behind, because a, a lot of times I didn't realize that I have a problem with my front arm and my front side being weak. And I've always known that, but it's really hard to feel. Well, with this, I could feel the front side because if I'm sitting there pulling and not getting through the clicker, 
but all of a sudden this thing's digging into my nose, yeah. I know that I'm losing my front side. So I could keep my pressure forward on the front, keep everything good here, and it's almost like you're not even moving at all, yeah. and the shot happens and it's just so much easier. That's a lot, that's a lot going on for something so small it, it, on your string there. That's incredible. It, it is. It, it, it's kind of insane. Like I, I've, I've tried kisser buttons and I always thought that they were a distraction. Um, you know, I've never really been into this type of thing, but like I gave this a chance. And like I said, it took me 10, 14 days to kind of get used to it, to figure it out. And I'm so happy that I stuck with it because this right here will make me a better shooter. All right, we will look to see how this does for Brady when he starts his scoring round. Folks, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Uh, if you want to see more videos like it, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Don't forget to click that bell to get notifications whenever we put out new videos. As always, if you have any questions, you can visit us at LancasterArchery.com.